Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we will talk about a multi-get conditions and what you should be aware of when you're using it. Let me give you a scenario. So we want to bring in an account um, according to two hidden fields. So key one and key two. Let's head over to our get condition and set up the condition. So we're going to say the account name equals key one and let's say the account type equals key two and we're going to do end. Okay, now let's publish the form. Let's view the hidden, so we're going to put it in debug mode. Save the form, fresh it, okay. Um, let's see the field ID, so FLD30 and FLD31. I'm going to do FLD30 equals hey. Okay, so we got the, the key 1 hey and key 2. We're going to pass it as well. FLD31 equals... Okay, so now what happens is that form titan, the way that this works is the condition runs every time that the hidden changes. The thing here that they don't change in a synchronous way, it changes asynchronically. And what will basically happen that we don't know which order these conditions will run because it could be that key 2 was assigned first and so the condition ran without the key 1. It could be that they were, the key 1 was assigned first and then the condition will run without key 2. And it might as well work but it's not um, it's not consistent. So what you gotta do in order for this to work properly whenever you use two or three conditions um, or more you have to set your get condition to have a, a rule condition as well and what the rule condition will do is you say key one is not empty and key two is not empty as well and then we're ensuring that the get will run only if both of these keys are there otherwise it's not going to run which if I run this now without FLD 31 the the get will not run unless we have FLD 31 as well which will ensure a correct way of getting uh, your records from Salesforce and this is how it's done